Welcome back to another Fashion Friday. Today we got some huge news. Uh, Transmog finally announced. And I got a few sets for you guys to uh, you know, look at and see, some, see if you get some inspiration from. Uh, before we start, uh, please like and subscribe. I'm almost to 50 subscribers and it'd be awesome to hit it before New Year's. Thanks for all the support so far. The Destiny fashion videos have actually been doing really well and I appreciate it. So uh, first off and right away, let's just go ahead and celebrate with this Transmog news. It's coming in season 14, which this season is season 12. So it won't come this next season, but it will be the season after that. They gave us a few screenshots here of um, what the UI is going to be looking like roughly. Um, it looks really awesome. I will say I'm a little dis disappointed to see uh, the numbers on the shaders. Looks like we'll still have to be pulling those out. I'm not sure if they upped the shader limit that we can carry or anything like that, but I would guess not, since that is a stress on the server. If they're still doing it as a consumable shader system like they have right now, but that's okay. Uh, I'd rather have transmog than no transmog. Also, the Prophecy Dungeon just re-released, uh, so get in there and get some amazing armor. I've woven in some of the armor pieces into the sets I'm about to show off. Uh, if you need some inspiration or motivation to get into that uh, dungeon, I've heard the dungeon's at 1050, so it shouldn't be bad at all if you can just maybe watch a tutorial on how, what to do and uh, maybe get a couple friends. should be easy. You can even solo it if you want a super sick emblem. Alright, let's hop over to my sets. We'll uh, start with Hunter today. Uh, so, first set I've got here, it's kind of riffing on a theme that I've I think I really mastered on my Warlock, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to maybe try to uh, interpret it on the Hunter as well. So it's kind of, in my mind at least, it's like an archaeologist dig kind of body with the Ahamkara inspired uh, exotic, which in this case is the Worm Husk, obviously, as you see here. Uh, I just really like um, the way the uh, the way the tan goes with the Ahamkara bones. More so on the Warlock one, which I will show too, but um, but this one looks good to me as well. I've got uh, a lot of old Universal ornaments on here, so not very new light friendly, but just a really cool look. I uh, rocking that wild cloak, wild hunt cloak that is available this season. I like the uh, hoodless version of this. It's kind of that rough feel that the other hoodless cloaks we have right now don't have. They're kind of more sleek and pristine looking so I'm, I'm really glad they added this cloak in um when i was looking for a good shader for that set i also uh saw this alternate um this is using rivalry resolute but i also some up saw some other white and black ones that kind of had a similar look without without that blue in the middle but um they kind of really give me some like space suit uh, look which i really like for that space scientist or space explorer kind of vibe that's going on here and the uh, worm husk i feel like is nice crowning to uh this interesting look uh so i also got here maybe a little prophecy inspiration this season this should all be available the uh lux boots you'll have to buy as a set in the shop but um that's the last wish chess piece and then just like the Crucible or Gambit or Vanguard Van Vendor arms. And then Nighthawk, the exotic, which with an ornament, which I don't think you can get this season, I'm pretty sure. But the uh, normal Nighthawk, I'm sure, will look really cool here. I did uh, the Prophecy Cloak with it, because it has that really cool, like, uh, bat ear kind of uh, element around the head. Uh, kind of fit in with like a like bird theme. Um, I had an all black shader on this to uh, kind of give it like a Batman-y feel if you're more into that. But I thought I'd throw a little color in and the uh, Jacarina shader is actually in reference to a bird called Jacarina. This is the last Hunter set. I was trying to incorporate these new raid arms. They're a little bulky and they actually go up really high almost like uh, tight arms. So it was kind of an interesting challenge, I thought, to uh, incorporate it. 
that has the, that like little tube coming up and out on the top of the shoulders. So I thought these uh, Frosties could kind of be cool with these tubes running around on them. I uh, paired it with the Prophecy Dungeon helmet, which I think kind of looks weird without a hood, but in a way I thought it looked cool here. Uh, it kind of matches that like weird unfinished look of the arms a little bit, I thought. And the blue uh, almost matches the uh, shader I've got on the Frosties. And then uh, I just went with the Lux chess piece. Kind of just easy mode on that one. Um, that kind of goes with everything and just having trouble tying it all together besides this piece. I try not to use the Lux pieces. You may wonder why I made that sound like it was a bad thing. The Lux pieces are just kind of like cheat codes in my mind. They just look so good on everything and I love them so much. Which you, you know, you may say like, oh, just use them then, but it's not good for like inspir inspiring other people's fashion, in my opinion. So let's move on to Warlock. So this is kind of what I was talking about with that first Hunter set, kind of the Archaeologist vibe. Um, I've got the Trials hands on, which Trials should be coming back soon. I don't know when the hands will be available, but look out for that. I'm rocking the Intrepid uh, chess piece. And the Verity's Brow, which is getting a lot of love from Error. If you watch his uh, PvE build videos, he loves this uh, helmet for pretty much pretty much all subclasses now because the uh, Nezrak Sins bugs. Oh, well, actually, they just confirmed it's just working as intended, quote quote. Now, it was bugged before, so I don't know how. I haven't used it since I've been using mostly Ikelos or the Seven Seraph SMG. Um, so I don't know how bad or good it is, but, uh, yeah, the, apparently this Verity's Brow, uh, is kind of his new main exotic, so, yeah, it's a good, uh, look to go along with it. This is more for the veterans. These boots are Sunset, they're the, uh, Escalation Protocol boots, and they might honestly be, like, one of the first things I transmog. These things look just so fresh and, like, so much detail. It's like a really cool looking boot, and then you also have this like metal contraption around it. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for these boots, and I'm really excited to transmog them up. So uh, this is more um, Prophecy Dungeon inspiration. I've got the uh, Prophecy Chess, which is literally probably one of the best chess pieces in the game for Warlock. I just love this chess so much that like... Hyper branding is so cool. I love that Dido logo. Um, I am rocking a, a helmet you can't get. It's a, It was the uh, Solstice of Heroes helmet. It's actually just the normal white glow one because I was too cheap to buy the Warlock armor set for Bright Dust or Silver. But I really like the white glow, especially in this. Um, I'm rocking it with the Raid Gauntlets. Uh, I thought they looked pretty cool. Like, the bulkiness kind of contrasting with these slim, flowy design and the gaudy helmet. Um, uh, just some boots. I mean, it's it's Warlock. The boots don't matter that much. I got them pretty much all black to kind of match this gradient from like white to red to black. And I think um, you sh if you're using this chest piece, you really like tune into that. A lot of shaders shade up one color up near the top and then one color you know at beyond that like shoulder i, I love to uh just separate the whole design in that way with the chess piece because like i said before warlock chess piece is like literally everything so playing around it is just the best way to go and just the seasonal ornament uh bond so we're doing titan next uh, this is the Iron Will helmet, which is, this is me saying, grind this helmet. This helmet is so cool. Um, I've almost got entirely luck set with it, but I, I, th I love this biker aesthetic, like futuristic, cyberpunky biker aesthetic. Uh, I, I think I, last video maybe, I, I, uh, I showed off a hunter similar kind of vibe. Um, I'm rocking the Intrepid chest with the uh, Lux arm and legs. And then I also have the uh, Iron Will Bond on, but it's pretty minor in this set. 
Uh, if you spin the Titan around, though, it does give a really cool, like, uh, like coattail look to that intrepid chess piece. You can buy all these universal ornaments in the shop right now if you want to recreate this exactly. Um, definitely at least do Iron Banner for this helmet, is my opinion. The chess piece for Titan is pretty cool as well. That might be it, though. <laughs> so, uh, here's our last set of the day. Um, rocking a lot of the raid armor. This is the pieces I've gotten so far. Um, and I rock it, I'm rocking it with the Iron Will Helmet again. So this is extremely new light friendly. We've got um, everything here is available to you. The arms and chest are from the raid. Uh, this Iron Will Helmet is current Iron Banner drop, like I said before. Uh, the legs are the vendor um, powerful pinnacle drop legs that you get through the uh, bounties for in a week and get one of these pieces of armor. And then the uh, mark is from the shop right now for Bright Dust. Um, I think this set looks really cool. I like, I like the like futuristic robot look. It's almost like Judge Dread, but like you know more flashy neon-y with the uh, holograms in front of it. Really liking this raid armor so far on the Titan. Um, the Warlock seems a little tougher to incorporate with other stuff. I, I like it as a full set. Um, the Hunter, I have had trouble working it into as well, but I only have the arms and chest for the Hunter. I have the legs and arms for the Warlock, so maybe once I get more pieces I'll get more inspired to work with the other ar armor pieces, but right now I'm kind of having trouble with it. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this Fashion Friday. It's my third one. Uh, if you've made it this far, please leave a like. If you liked one of these sets a lot, uh, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions or armor pieces you want, insp uh, you need some inspiration for, or just need to straight up steal a set from somebody, let me know. If you got a favorite shader on armor, let me know, and uh, I'll try to work along with that too. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Oh my god.